I hear all the time that the Republicans are the party of fiscal responsibility. That's been a complete fiction for a while now, but the Trump presidency essentially shot a dead horse. The U.S. budget deficit is soaring under President Trump. According to the Treasury Department, the federal budget deficit increased by $113 billion in fiscal year 2018, Trump's first full year as president. And it's the highest the deficit has been in six years. The deficit now stands at $779 billion. And the deficit, of course, is the difference between what the government takes in and what it spends. But yes, we're all aware that Republicans only care about securing tax cuts for the rich and the so-called deficit hawks of the Tea Party were merely goons for the Koch brother donor class that funded them. We get it. But the Republican Party's crazy spending has taken itself to another level with Donald Trump as president because they're not just having to cover up for their handouts for the rich and corporations under the guise of job creation. No, they're now having to also cover up for his incompetence. The Department of Agriculture has paid out $7.7 billion so far to help farmers impacted by the ongoing tariff war with China, according to William Northey, Undersecretary for Farm Production and Conservation. A tariff war that Trump started, recklessly and without discussion. The funds represent a portion of the $12 billion relief package that President Trump pledged in July to offset the losses from retaliatory tariffs imposed by Beijing in response to Washington's tariffs on Chinese goods. U.S. farm exports to China are expected to fall by $1.9 billion in 2019, according to the USDA. So basically what you're saying is that Trump has already paid $7.7 billion in welfare and government handouts to those loser farmers who can't pull themselves up by their bootstraps and be successful and competitive in the free market? These freeloaders have to take checks from the big evil government to feed their families who can't just pff, get new jobs and who can't make it in Ayn Rand's vision of an individualist society? Wow, pathetic. No, of course not. In reality, it's the government that sets the terms of the market. The invisible hand is largely a myth in a day and age where every country has a mixed economy with both socialist and capitalist programs. Yes, the United States included, but that's not what conservatives like Trump and Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell say. No, they demonize poor people for using social programs from the government after the taxes that they pass push people into a deeper hole of poverty. And then to cover up Trump's own reckless trade decisions, they give handouts to the farmers to ensure that their bad decisions don't cost them politically. And what could we do with that completely unnecessary $12 billion relief package? Universal pre-K, which different plan show could cost between two and twelve billion dollars help replace the pipes in flint which is a 55 billion dollar undertaking or how about this homelessness could be effectively eradicated in the united states at an annual cost of about 20 billion dollars the housing department's budget for addressing homelessness is currently about 1.9 billion dollars we could nearly entirely eradicate homelessness with the money that trump and the republicans use to cover up trump's own recklessness. We could afford so many things in this country, so many programs to help our citizens, but there isn't a will, so there isn't a way. All we're left with is Trump's incompetence and greed.